The false scarcity is not normal. PDP rogues in NNPC are at work. Joe Ibukwe, welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. Engineer Joe Ibukwe, the special advisor to the governor of Lagos State on drainage and water resources, was on his Facebook account to react to the false scarcity that Nigeria is experiencing, experiencing recently. So Joey Bukwe is trying to say that the PDP suddenly resumed working in in, in an NPC. Is that what he's saying? Because for what I know, this um, administration does not did not give those people chance at all. Did not give the PDP chance at all. So did it tell me now that okay, APC members swapped with PDP members and working in the NPC and this is going on? Come on, it is time. Time has gone for shifting blames. PDP left seven years ago. Seven years ago. Ha uh -uh. Any little thing you call them out. Any little thing you call them. You think that really the country is, is beans. Is my my abi? You have not seen anything yet. Too. You are yet to see it. The news in detail. Please stay with us. In his Facebook post, Joe Ibukwe said the forest scarcity is not normal. It's not a normal one. He then opined that some PDP rogues in NNPC are at work. Ibuko said that those rogues want to render negatory all the humongous work APC has been doing for the past seven years. Joe Ibuko then told people to ignore the rogues at their own peril. In another post, Joe Ibuko said that the President Buhari must break the sabotage of full supply chain we have not witnessed in seven years. In conclusion, Joe Ibokwe said the false scarcity situation is looking as if criminals are at work as the 2023 election draw near. The importation of bad fuel has been reported to be the reason for the false scarcity. Nigerians have been experiencing. For years now, we have not experienced queues at a filling station, and that has been a thing of pride for the Buhari-led administration. But the question that comes to mind now is how did bad fuel get imported into the country successfully? That is a question for them. Who are the hem of affairs over there? Is it not their people? Is it not their APC members? Now, I'm not even known for shifting blame, but it is high time these people stop shifting blame. I'm not a member of, I'm not a favorite of uh, their party. It is time for them to stop shifting blame and get to work. Who supervised the bringing in? They should start from the human being that allowed this to enter, first of all. When they come out and say he's a PDM member, then I'll maybe I'll not listen to them. He should point out or finger out all those who are involved in this. How do they bring things like this into the country? The end consumer, do you know how many people have been crying out? People's engine, people's car, people's generating set, big ones, small ones. You buy a foil of 5,000, 3,000 naira, or 4,000 or 2,000 naira, and you get to spend more than 20, 20 to 100,000 naira, if not more, repairing that particular, that particular thing you bought, you bought the 4 for. It is, it is absurd. It is so absurd. PDP left office eight years ago, and your beloved APC has recognized and reshoveled an APC with President Buhari as our minister since then. But you still name Call PDP for your woes and feelings. Exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. I didn't know there are people there. So why is he out here calling PDP? I beg you should you should you should just go. This thing, this thing is not funny. The Goshans are really gnashing their teeth on that. This. The, the Goshans are gnashing their teeth on that this particular one. The one that is inflicted on them on a daily basis by will I say will I say thout from what I've heard, thout. Uh, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the increment in transport, and you know, then this one is added to their own problem. Haba, how can an empty headed hmm, is the president you're referring to? How can an empty headed being like Buhari be heading an NPC and you expect progress? Why would this blame game help me ask them? When the blame game will end, help me ask APC people. APC or the supporters will never accept that they can make mistakes, this, which is why they are not responsible or they are not. Exactly. It is when you have the capability to see that you can make mistakes that you can even now listen to solution 
or suggestions or for solutions. Go to America. Up to now, Biden is, Biden is blaming Trump failure in the governance up to now. The government is not working as it's supposed to be. Why not here? We can blame PDP. <laughs> they are the causes of all our problems. You like it or not? Huh. Oh. We have murdered excellency on the altar of mediocrity. Exactly. This is just the line. This is the perfect line. What you get when you put someone who is incompetent. This is what. You put someone who is incompetent, who does not merit to be there. He sees it as, oh, that place, let me please whoever puts me there. But if you put somebody who merits it, who should be there, he knows that I want more and I will have to do better. These people that put me here, they're not going to answer me if I don't, do, if I don't, if I don't perform well. They have it at the front and back of their mind and they perform well. Someone needs to remind you, Ibukwe, that the Minister of Petroleum is PMB and not anyone from PDP. So PDP chairman is running an NPC. What is it going? When it is going well, you give credit to your pay master Buhari. But when it is not, you blame PDP. You are such a confused being. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Very soon, Joe will come to govern Nigeria too. For where? This won't happen no. It will not. The, the way he's shifting blame and always saying things like this, that's what you're going to be expecting from him. Nothing more. Mr. Joe, it is obvious you cannot do without calling PDP. No, that, that point where the person say we have sacrificed, as in, this is what you get when you sacrifice excellence or mother excellence on the altar of mediocrity. That is the perfect line for this. This is what you get. When you put somebody who has no clue of that particular office in that office, this is what you get. I said it before, one thing we can get right is picking a very competent person whose interest is to better Nigeria, is to better the country. And then he in person or she in person or in question will not come out to also pick people like herself or himself who will better Nigeria, whose goal is, you know what, let us better this country. Our pay is going to be, our name is going to be, our pay is going to be that our names are going to be recorded in terms of history as people who started working on Nigerian progress for the first time. But we'll have people that think like this, we'll always have problems. I don't want to know, but we'll always have problems. Now, this is happening. People are suffering. All because of what? Oil is our own. Refineries, repair it, no. Build refiner, you know, you're leaving it for one person to build, so at the end of it, there will be more problems. Uh -uh. At the end of the day, I've said that this is the Nigeria. We cannot run away from it. Even if you jet out, you are going to miss your water load there. On this note, we've, gone, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.